uh, yeah, just not very good performance overall and um, struggled really bad all night long. So um, gave it everything we had there. Just, uh, you know, it was pretty remarkable to be in the position to actually be able to go out there and race for a win right there at the end of the race. And so um, we'll take that, uh, but certainly didn't run there. You had that moment earlier where you were holding off uh, Suarez or fighting Suarez and you spun out. How does that relate, what you felt there relate to the way this race played out with everybody having lots of issues? Uh, yeah, just everybody <laughs> racing hard. Is there anything more you could have done in the last restart? I don't think so. How did you fight back from from adversity to get Everybody to crashed in front of me. Did you watch? <laughs> oh, I saw it. What do you think? I mean, what do you think? Uh, do you even expect that? Uh, you got to expect it at this point, right? You do now in this day and age. Yep. Uh, is it disappointing, though? What is? Just seeing that kind of go-for-it mentality like that. No, it's great. I bet you the fans love it. Yeah. And uh, what do you assess about the next-gen car safety after Chris Buescher took that wild ride tonight? Uh, no comment on that. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you. Please come. Thank you. Yeah, it was just uh, pure chaos out there. You can't... Um, can't drive the car, you know, at all sideways, um, you know, not even sideways, but just a little bit of rear, you know, right rear slip in your in your junk. So it um, saw a lot of guys wreck, and unfortunately that one, you know, took us all out. You know, I was the first guy on new tires, so I think I was going to cycle probably to the lead. Um, we had been running, I think we were seventh. We had some issues early in the race. We, we had some issues with the tires, and got it better and um, got our car back where I thought we were competitive again and uh, was run like seventh and then pitted and like I said we we're gonna cycle well so it just sucks that you know we get taken out. Weren't you telling your crew chief you did, that the tires were pretty rough? Yeah. Um, we just knew that our balance had to you know we had to work on our balance so just uh, typical stuff this year but just sucks that so much chaos. What happened? I just got tight. Um, they were side by side right in front of me, and uh, I don't feel like I was ever in that position that close. And the car got extremely tight. The, the 14 was there. The 14 could have avoided, but it's late in the race, so I understand either way. But anyway, we had a super fast car. I'm very, very proud of my guys. Um, it was a rough night when it comes to pit road, losing positions, and it's a tray as well. But. Uh, we had such a rocket that we're coming from the back and to the front like three times. But uh, anyway, just a little heartbroken right now. Heartbreaking? Yeah, a little bit. Did you see what happened to Busher? Or was, could you see what was going on with Busher when he was flipping and, and how that happened? No, we, we, we didn't ride together. I'm just glad he's fine. Thank you. Talk about it. Yeah, we uh, started the race really bad. And. Uh, kept adjusting on it, kept adjusting on it, and finally got to where we were really good. Maybe not race winning good, but good enough to have a solid top 10 day. And uh, got up to 11th or 12th there, and like something happened to Blaney, I, I don't know what. And uh, he spun in front of me and I checked up and got really just ran into from behind. So uh, not really anybody's fault, I don't think. It's just big checkup and part of it, but I really hate it for a team. We're just. We had big hopes for Charlotte. We had such a great test here and um, really figured out what we needed to do to, to get the car running well and then get wiped out. So, sucks, but uh, we're going to keep working on it. Harrison Burton, strong night for the number 21 and a lot of chaos. I mean, what do you think when all that's happening in front of you? Yeah, for us, it was really a good thing. I mean, you know, we had damage early and we're uh, trying to battle through that all day and it, it was hard to kind of battle through that but uh the more restarts and chaos and stuff was more opportunity for us to kind of either get a chance to work on a car make it better or to you know have crazy stuff happen and take advantage of it and so yeah finishing 11th is uh pretty decent for us considering we were not crashing every crash but we're basically in every crash or around every crash so just trying to keep keep rebound enough for that and and Man, you know, you just don't quit and you end up with a decent finish. No matter the circumstances, I mean, what kind of momentum do you think this can carry? Yeah, I mean, it's big. Um, you know, I think anytime you finish well, it's a, a good boost for the team. The guys are happy. Uh, you go into the race next weekend with a little more confidence, you know, say, hey, maybe if we weren't in crashes, we could have finished a lot better. So 
Uh, man, who knows? You know, it's it's hard to say, um, but I really hope it does bring some momentum to Gateway. And now you're one of two uh, drivers that have flipped in the next gen car. Did you, were you able to see Chris's flip? Uh, yeah, I saw it on the big screen. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm no longer the only one to flip it. So that's a, I guess that's a bad thing. I was hoping it would stay just me and uh, thankful Chris is all right. Thanks, Harrison.